The focus stems from concerns about how government decisions, governance, and resource allocation impact personal health care choices. This concern highlights a widening disconnect between the priorities of political leaders and the interests of the general public. The attention given to transgender recipients serves as a symbol of a broader trend within certain political circles, where niche issues are often prioritized over what many see as more urgent social needs, further deepening polarization and eroding trust in government. The truth is they're trying to get out of it because she doesn't want to debate. She's not a good debater. She's not a smart person. She doesn't want to debate. But when I looked at the hostility during the weekend, you watch it, this week with George Slopidopoulos, and uh, the Vietnamese didn't get that one. <laughs> you got it. Yes, <laughs> you, you didn't get it. I couldn't do it. <laughs> but uh, no, we, we want to have fairness. We have to bring fairness back to the country. And we have to have a president. We are the closest to World War III, I believe, that we've ever been right now, right this second. And we have a man that just took a vacation in California. He was on the beach. And he came back today. Where's he going? Delaware. Why? Another vacation. He's going for another week. That's not the Vietnamese. They're hardworking people, aren't they? <laughs> All right. The emphasis is likely on the allocation of government resources, with the belief that tax dollars should be directed toward pressing issues like public safety, infrastructure, and education, rather than what is viewed as elective procedures for incarcerated individuals. This perspective sees the policy as a case of government overreach and misallocation of funds, illustrating a gap between political leaders and the everyday concerns of ordinary citizens.